best of two worlds. It's multicultural, but yet it's kind of like a mix between what the best Paris has to offer and the best Brooklyn has to offer. This is my first time in Montreal. Definitely won't be my last. Welcome to Montreal. A multi-layered city where every shade of green, stroke of paint, and wave of adventure turns Montreal moments into lasting memories. My journey begins in what has recently become one of Montreal's hippest neighborhoods, Mile X. Where old Montreal gives you that Parisian vibe, Mile X evokes an entirely different feeling. And here to break it all down is local guide and all-around cool guy, Danny. If you had to describe Mile X in three words. I'd say uh, young, creative, and rough around the edges. I said Mile X, not describe yourself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is sort of an industrial neighborhood that's going through a little bit of a renaissance. It's sort of become the new hip and in destination in, in Montreal. Have you ever been to New York? Definitely, yeah. This almost reminds me of Williamsburg. Yeah, it's gritty. It's not always pretty, but it's authentic. Did you grow up in this neighborhood? I was south of here, and I now live north of here. And actually, this place gets its name from where we had a home when we were younger, which is the Mile End, and where I live now, which is Park X. So it's like an in-between the two, Mile End and Park X. They call it the Mile X. Spanning less than one square mile, Mile X is a hub of artists surrounded by canvases at every turn. Now, this is an interesting piece. Yeah, this is a work of art that was introduced when uh, they renovated this building. It's by What Is Adam. He's a local Montreal street artist. He does a lot of sort of Canadiana. Canadiana. Yeah, is that so similar to Americana? You got it. Symbolic, Montreal iconic. It's actually associated to an amazing street art gallery here in, uh, in Montreal. Is there a rather large street art scene? In the Milex here, we're starting to see more of it, but we do have a massive street art festival. It's the biggest one in North America every year. There's up to 100 works of art. A mix of local and whatever's hot in the scene internationally it gets in invited to Montreal's festival. So it's basically. international. It's huge. This is like a cool little hidden garden here, huh? Uh, this is one of the 360 green alleyways that we have in Montreal. And you're finding more and more of them now in the neighborhood. Basically, it's a project where the neighbors get together to embellish and beautify the space. They get funding from the borough, and then it's really up to the neighbors to maintain the project. And this is just another example of how progressive Mile X as a neighborhood is. Cheers. Sante. Mm. Wow. It's good. That is a good brew. We were lacking a cool beer bar in this part of town. So there are these women who are in a very male-dominated industry, but since their opening have been winning awards for their different styles of beers that they showcase at the different beer festivals around the province. It seems like a lot of the entrepreneurs in Mile X are young. Definitely. I think for the whole city, uh, that's something that is very true, is we're a youthful city. We've got four big universities, and it is the young creative type that are creating these cool new niche businesses. Listen, this is a delicious beer. Glad you like it. The service is great, the beer is great. I could use better company, but other than that, I'm I was about to say day. the same thing. I love you, Danny. All this walking, all this talking, I'm a little bit famished. So, we're picking up some grub and meeting a few friends at weekly Montreal festival, Tam Tams, in the heart of Mount Royal Park. Montreal's a city of festivals. We have more than 100 a year, right? Wow, so it sounds like Montreal is a party city. It right. is. And people enjoy it. <laughs> people have a party, good time. Party, but also focus on culture and art and to yeah. make that accessible to all Montrealers and people who visit. This almost like has like a Central Park vibe, you know? Like a central gathering place for all the various neighborhoods. It really is the heart of the city. You get up through the woods and, and you forget that you're in a city of four million people. And then you get up to the top and you have this amazing view of all of downtown. And after traveling around Montreal, I've noticed that there are so many unique little areas. Montreal's not that spread out, you know? It's a very much of a walkable city. You can walk from downtown to Plateau to Old Montreal, and then from Plateau to Milan. It's like a nice mix between European culture and flair and North American creativity. You can't make a banana? No. Come on, yeah, you can. Uh, So Mount Royal in 
The summertime, obviously, people are out here, they're doing outdoor activities, playing frisbee, that sort of thing. In the wintertime, you can do cross-country skiing in here. It's really cool to be on a public bus to see somebody with a bunch of skis yeah. on them. And that's super Montreal. You have to come back in winter, for real. I will. À toi, Montréal. To you, Montreal. À toi, Montréal. Yay! <laughs>